workshop. You can't make me door stops. So you're interested in getting started in woodworking. That's cool. Here's the deal. Hi there, I'm Kevin O'Connor. And I'm Norm Abram. And welcome back to a brand new season of This Old House. As you go into science and you know about the quantitative science and mathematics, it puts you in a very good position so you can understand much of the world around you. Those who feel comfortable, they don't have to be experts, they don't actually have to be practicing scientists or engineers, but feel comfortable about those things. Understanding science, mathematics, allows you to deal with many of the pressing issues that the general populations will have to deal with. The basic premise behind STEM education is really solving problems, understanding natural phenomena and then solving problems. In fact, there's an interesting statistic that the most common educational background of Fortune 500 CEOs in the United States is, it's not business, it's not law, it's engineering. Kids can get an engineering education, they can go do anything with it. They can be a lawyer, they can be a businessman, they can be a politician, they can be whatever they want, but they'll understand how to solve problems and that'll see them beneficially through their entire career. Science, technology, engineering, and math. They're the new language. We can inspire kids and they can begin to see the world in a way that would give them a chance to pursue things that they never understood before. Who's going to be an astronomer or an engineer or a doctor? And give them the basic tools, the foundational understanding, so that they can make those choices for their path in life, but also have a chance to understand the world better so that they can see the world uh, in, a, in, a, in a more intelligent and more informed way. The individual can impact the whole world through inventions, innovation going forward. But to do that, primarily you need a good understanding of the math, the science, and the technology behind it. Hey, Michael, what are you doing? I am in engineering technology class. We are using the computer-aided drafting software to design and analyze our drag car. Then we get to build the car in the production lab. This is real-world application. Hi, this is the engineering problem-solving loop. One, identify the problem. Two, identify criteria and constraints. Three, um, brainstorming possible solutions. Four, generate ideas. Five, explore possibilities. Six, select an approach. Seven, build a model or prototype. Eight, redefine the design. That was the engineering problem solving loop. STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Technology. Engineering. We are technology and engineering. Tech Ed rules. In eighth grade sustainable design class, we are learning about sustainable building practices like passive solar, energy efficient flooring, eco-friendly building materials, renewable energy. We do hands-on testing of materials. In technology education class, we are learning about renewable energy. The problem was we needed to design turbine blades. We used the internet to research ideas. We brainstormed ideas. We finalized one blade's design. We built it and then tested our design. We changed the design after testing, then retested. Printing teaches students complex skills in a fun, easy, and engaging way. It isn't just making plastic objects. Students learn to design from scratch, use their imagination, and solve problems in new ways. 
The skills they gain are some of the same ones engineers, fashion designers, and architects use. Robbie, we need to find the area of our blades. Okay, I'll measure half the circle. Pi times radius squared, 40. Okay, 40 times five. 40 squared times pi. There's a lot of connections between what we're doing in science as well as uh, technology education. Uh, for example, in seventh grade science, uh, we're learning about Newton's laws, um, his laws of motions, and basic physics. And the students can take what they learn from here and translate that into a task, activity, or a challenge problem over technology education. So having as a cross-curricular concept uh, is really beneficial for our students. Don't laugh.